What's going on guys, Anaconda Squeeze here, back in the PS4 version of Skyrim Special Edition, bringing you once again another wonderful mod here for you. This one is the Breeze Home Cellar mod. This mod is brought to us by the lovely Fate Send 1990. A very simple mod here, it just simply improves on something that's already in the game. Once you go to the right one and you finish the first beginning part of the story, you are able to buy the Breeze Home. Once you get that Breeze Home, you can actually like pay to upgrade it, you can decorate the whole thing. And just open up, make your rooms a little bit nicer and make it a little bit more homey here. As you can see, we've got all of our stuff upgraded up here. What we're looking at today is we're adding this lovely trap door over here. This is the cellar we are adding. It comes with a dragon stone up here. Let's take this. I don't think it actually does anything. Let's have a quick peek, run down our gigantic list of items and see if we can even... <laughs> There's so much stuff here, oh my. I was unaware that I had this much stuff. Nothing. Nothing at all. Just Dragonstone pointing down for us. So let's head into the cellar here and check it out. Right away we can see we have lots of storage options. Uh, we've got display cases, we've got plaques on the wall, we've got some... Ooh, this is fun. This is a nice little touch I haven't seen yet. It's pretty cool. More display things, weapon racks, we've got our mannequins over here. Is this Daedric armor? Just random Daedric armor chilling up here. We've got weapons cupboards, armored cupboards. It's kind of fun that it's themed for us already. Hidden in the next room we can find our forge and, al and our alchemy area. The good thing about this is when you are upgrading the house you can choose to either make the spare room an alchemy lab or a child's bedroom. If you have this mod you can go right ahead and make that the child's bedroom and you will not miss out on all of the lovely alchemy options we have here. More plaques on the wall is a great touch. Also we have a ton of smithing things here like all of our enchantment ingredients, uh, a couple potions here for us, lots of soul gems. And on this side, looks like we've got wood, firewood. We've got a bunch of safes here to store more things in. And a couple more things of armor. And is this a fun Breeze Home bow? Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's have a peek at that one. Our, bre <laughs> Our Breeze Home bow just says dude and sweet. Someone likes... Oh, look at that shit. <laughs> All right, the damage is uh, it's, it's quite powerful. Let's click this one on here. I love that someone here is uh, is watching a little bit of Dude Where's My Car. Lots more stuff. All of our crafting stuff. Essentially a full forge down here for us. We've got some fertile soil we can plant things in. Uh, this is, yep, yeah, so this is actually a door that goes nowhere. You cannot open this door. And this is actually something that brought me to this mod that made me really intrigued and want to do it today. Yes, I like the fact that we have this down here and it's super handy. It's really great if you want to... Uh, stick with the main sort of quest line like maybe you don't want to have all these crazy estates that I show on the channel here Like maybe you want to just stick with the breeze home It's enough for you, but you're wishing you had a little bit of a pick-me-up Well, here you go a quick facelift a little add-on to the mod here to make it even more manageable and just a little bit extra to your gameplay But what I like about this is this door here will eventually lead to a future mod that the creator is working on uh, essentially, there's going to be a white run caverns, and this is going to bring us to that mod. There's no ETA on when this mod is going to be out, unfortunately, but it is something we can look forward to. And I like the fact that we've got mod de devs who are planning on interlocking their mods, like making their mods work together and like incorporating the two of them. So that's kind of cool there. I'm very excited to see where this goes, and hopefully, um, it's not too long, so we can still kind of play around with it here. Really short video for you here. I'm just actually head out, and we can test out this Breeze Home Bow. I want to see what it does. Perfect, so we are here at the Silent Moons camp. This is one of my favorite places to test out weapons because it's nice and close and there's always bad guys here for us. I've equipped the Iron Arrow just to kind of see how we're doing with this one. Ah, did I miss him completely? I am just absolute trash right now. Pew, gotcha. One hit to them, that's pretty cool there. It looks like they fly pretty damn straight as well. Pew. Bit of a delay, I think I'm just used to my Akatosh arrows that fly super quickly here. Oh, there we go. So actually, yeah, quite a powerful bow. Pretty nice here. Let's go test on some giants and see what we can do. Oh, there's a dragon kind of flying around. If we can get him to land here, that would be cool. What is up there? Kind of a funky thing to see in the sky. The big dick. Well, that's super weird and kind of concerning, but whatever. We're going to skip past that. Now let's test these iron arrows and this bow on this lovely unsuspecting giant. Like, I'm sorry guys, but you're you're kind of my guinea pigs here. Ooh, look at that. So this is a pretty good, that's actually a really nice bow. 
So this bow with an iron arrow will take down a giant one shot. So that's like super awesome. Like more than I could expect. Hey, mammoth. I really wanted to make sure I got the iron arrows because they do the least amount of damage. Why am I just awful? It looks like it zaps them. That is super cool. I am a huge fan. Got you. Oh, wow. Look at that. You shoot them, they get like zapped. I actually, this mod might be worth it just for the goddamn bow. That is really, really neat. Dude Sweet is definitely the right caption to be putting on this bow here. Uh, in all honesty, guys, if you don't even like the house, I just download this shit for the bow. If you're looking for a really cool god bow to have, where you don't have to worry about like any arrow you're using, grab this bow. This is a dope bow, and I totally approve of it. Woo, spin around. Well, guys, uh, it's been on kind of squeeze here, bringing you a... Ah, what the fuck is wrong with me today? Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the mod review today. Nice and quick for you. Uh, the link description will be... Oh, how the fuck? Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the mod review today. A pretty quick mod. Nice and easy, but like still pretty interesting. Something I would actually consider using here. Uh, the description will hold the link to the mod below, so make sure you check that out. Definitely like and subscribe if you had a good time with this video here. And I will see you guys fucking later. Bye.